but you weren't here so you missed it we're just about to head out for a walk Yay! Lucy put her harness on so nicely today it was no problem whatsoever look who's hanging out over here ready to have fun hi Gigi how are you buddy Gigi. Lucy and Gigi we're just having a little talk oh, yeah? yeah Gigi was like um excuse me you're a little too close for comfort <laughs> and Lucy was like okay I I can I can respect that. So they just worked it out a little bit, right, G? Hi, Gigi. You're not saying anything, are you? You're beautiful. You are so beautiful. Of course you oh, and look at this little uh, this little guy over here. You can barely stay awake. <laughs> oh. Of course, you're a handsome puppy. Oh, thank you for the licks, Homer. I appreciate that so much. You good boy. Yes. My beautiful puppy. My beautiful puppy. Sean, you ready for walks? Yeah. All right. Let's get some bags for the inevitable. Lucy, no. <laughs> what, is, what is she doing? Can't you leave? Sean, look at Gaston. Hi. Hi, beautiful. You are being so good. You have come light years, Gaston. If anybody would have gotten this close to you before, you would have uh, hightailed it out of here. You are so good. Very good, old man. Very good. What? Young man. <laughs> I meant it in the sense of like Gatsby. It's old sport. Old sport. That's right. Oh, look at him. He's just chilling. It's like, yeah, I think I could have a little kickback over here. Oh, you're so good. Good boy, Gaston. Lucy, come on. Wait for puppy. Sean is doing really good today. Yeah. He's doing Sean a good is. job. Mm -hmm. Sean needs to be in the front. Yeah, Sean needs to be in the front. Mm -hmm. He's the lead dog. He's the lead pack dog. <laughs> come on. Let's go, puppy. They get distracted because there's like a little thing of... McDonald's fries right there. <laughs> yeah, you mean the cardboard, or is there, there actually fries actually in, there? in there? Oh, I hate that. All right, now they're in line. <laughs> Yay! Sean, what did you just say? Sean, out of nowhere, just said, "What about chicken?" <laughs> did you just say, "What about chicken?" Yes. Why? Are you hungry? Yes. Ah, some bug just buzzed me. <laughs> Sean's already thinking about lunch. Are you? Not yet. It's a little early. Yeah. But you may have some chicken when we get home, okay? Yes. All right, post-workout chicken. All right, guys, just checking in outside of beautiful Sharitis. Got to run in and pick up a few items um, that I either forgot or didn't get at Target the other day. I got to take a minute, though, and mention the uh, plane that was shot down over the Ukraine. <sighs> really, really sad. When we came in from the walk, it was on the news, and uh, 295 people that it's just so crappy. I feel so bad for everybody who's involved in that. <sighs> Definitely will be in my thoughts and prayers this week. Pray for peace for their families, for the victims. So I know you guys are bummed out too, but <sighs> so messed up. But anyway, I got to forge ahead with my day because I am ridiculously busy. I don't know if you guys have noticed, like in the last couple of weeks, I have been working my butt off with the new channel and everything. It's just, um, I've taken on a lot. I'm really enjoying it though. I'm really, I'm really trying to answer all the comments on this channel and, um, 
I'm hoping I'm doing a good job. You guys are fantastic. Thank you so much for commenting and watching all the time. You're amazing. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. I really appreciate you subscribing. And now I gotta get my butt in there because I gotta get back. Uh, we gotta eat lunch soon. All right, just got home from the store and Kristen points it up this very weird bug. <laughs> Hello, bug. You look like you have uh, a vulture costume on or something. Or some sort of a weird tuxedo. I'm sure you're just some sort of a beetle. So uh, I guess I'm going to look that up on the internet. Because that looks damned interesting. But first, grocery haul. Alright, here we go. The only thing that's missing is the toilet paper. And that's right over there. Boing! They had it on sale. How could I refuse? So, and I had like a $5 off of 50 coupon. So I wanted to stock up on a few things that they had on sale. So I'll show you what was really on sale. Let's start over here. These were three for five, and we just so happened to be having uh, enchiladas tonight. And you guys know I like to have a little rice on the side whenever I have Mexican, because it's just so good. Rice and beans just go together so well. I absolutely love that. And I love, love, love yellow rice. So good. So, the Arizona peach iced tea was $1.99. I know I shouldn't be drinking fake sugars, but... <laughs> It's so damn easy, and it's so good tasting, too. I hate that. Why does everything that's bad for you taste so good? All right, I got some uh, crispy rice squares, because I was just telling Maddie, wouldn't it be nice if we made some sort of puppy chow for the uh, treat this weekend? Ooh, and tomorrow's Friday. So the cherries were on sale. Actually, this was $1.99. That was pretty good. The cherries were $1.99 a pound. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but these are huge. They are like the size of those big gumballs that go down the um, circular thing in the uh, gumball machine. They're huge. They look so good, too. There's like These are like at the peak of perfection right now, too. Oh, look at that. Cherry snack with a Q. <laughs> Somebody should t tell that person they don't know how to spell. It's like cherry snack qua. Alright, more of the Patax Korma Curry because I had to replace the one that I had in reserve. I always have to have that on hand, otherwise uh, I'm pretty much screwed because I just make curry on a whim. So I always like to have my ingredients in stock so that just in case I want to make it, everything's there for it. Maddie informed me that I'm almost out of Dom De Louise, so I picked up a uh, replacement for that one. This mustard was on sale. I love Gold's mustard. It's very good. I got the deli uh, one. I didn't want to get the horseradish one because sometimes you don't want horseradish and sometimes it's really too hot. So this was 99 so I picked up one of those. This was also on sale, the Crazy Richard's Chunky Peanut Butter only one ingredient in here and that is peanuts and I'm not sure I don't think this is organic though which really sucks but at least it's healthier natural because it doesn't have any sugar in it so this was two and change 2.99 I think it was either 2.49 or 2.99 the uh, canned uh, veggies were on sale for 44 cents you know Mark's going to love that. When we go on Saturday, he's going to be all over that. He's going to probably fill up the cart with it because he's always uh, chastising me for being a vegetarian that doesn't eat that many vegetables, which I don't see how he could possibly say that. I think he means I'm a vegetarian who doesn't eat vegetables that he likes. <laughs> I think that's what he means. So I got four cans of the green beans in honor of Mark. And also, I got the cheap pasta sauce in, our, in honor of Mark. This was 88 cents, so he'd be thrilled. And I'm sure he's going to pick up more on Saturday as well. More smoothie straws for smoothies. Sour cream for Mark. You know, that's his favorite. And it was on sale for $1.67. I got some uh, taco blend cheese for tonight because we're having the enchiladas. And I love to put the cheese on the top. I'm sorry, I don't think I could ever be totally vegan because I just, I love cheese too much. I wish they could um, make it less hard on the animals though. I, it breaks my heart every time I eat a piece of cheese, so. 
I hate that. All right, uh, this was also on sale, $1.99 for the uh, peanut sesame noodle bowl and the garlic scallion. I got one of each because Sean likes to have that sometimes for lunch, and uh, it's not it's not horrible for you, so I figured why not indulge him a little bit. Here's the enchilada sauce for tonight. I got some large pearl tapioca. I actually got this for to make boba. I'm not sure if this is the right one because I've never made boba before. I didn't want to order a whole bunch on Amazon and not um, have it be delicious. So I'm just trying this out. I'm not exactly sure. If you know how to make boba, leave it in the comments. I'd appreciate it. And if it doesn't work out for boba, I'll just make uh, some tapioca pudding because I know everybody loves that. Uh, some batteries for Mark. These were on sale for $1.49. That was pretty good for the alkalines. Some cherubs because we're having uh, green beans and pasta tomorrow. And I am going to do it with an alfresco uh, sauce of cherry tomatoes. So that's going to be nice. I see that they've come out with a clear gel now. That's pretty awesome. So I picked up one of these because this is my favorite deodorant. And this stuff works amazingly. And now that it's in clear, even better. My uh, tofu... $1.99. This one's awesome. Wow, what does that say? I wish I could read it. <laughs> Something about Train Your Dragon 2. I have no idea what it says, though. So that's not that cool. And I gotta tell you guys, I have been waiting since December for this new magazine to come out, Veg News. This is my tale of woe. I subscribe to Veg News Magazine. Usually I do a year at a time, but I decided to bite the bullet get the three years for 50 bucks so I got the Veg News tote bag and everything got my magazine for a month or two and then all of a sudden hello no magazine and I was looking online the last magazine I got was December so I've been waiting since December for the magazine to come out I just recently saw online that there was some sort of ownership dispute with the company and that the guy that was suing for ownership had the magazine but it was legal mumbo jumbo that he couldn't release it to be printed so I guess finally he got it printed and released and I have gotten a magazine after six months now I'm just hoping they're going to credit my um, subscription for those six months that I didn't get a magazine and everything's great now <laughs> hopefully but I was worried, you know, I plunked down 50 bucks for a magazine that might be going into bankruptcy and like how do you get your money back then? So that's a little bit of a risk when you invest in these magazines that aren't like mainstream and popular. I mean they could probably just go under at any time so I'm very glad that they didn't though because I really enjoy that magazine and hopefully I'll be um, cooking some of the recipes that are in there as well. Uh, on Meatless Mondays. <sighs> mm. It's the best time of the day, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, I love that smile. Do you? Oh, yes, uh -huh. I do. Enjoy it. It's good for you. <laughs> Thank you for coming home. You're welcome. <sighs> I guess you're going down to the pool. Yeah. Alright, well I'm cooking dinner. We're having enchiladas, like I told you guys before. So I'm, I'm making them a little bit different than people would make. I've got some onion and some of the eggplant from the garden sauteing in the pan there. Have you ever done eggplant enchiladas? <laughs> Pretty interesting, right? So I'm going to let that cook down until it gets kind of soft. And I'm going to add some broccoli some black beans and uh, about a third of the can of this sauce of uh, a third of the can of sauce <laughs> brain fart woo alright and of course a package of the Gardein ultimate beefless ground gluten free of course and then when that all comes together I think it's really all coming together. You already know. So when that comes together, 
I'm going to get out my gluten-free wraps and I'm going to wrap it up and I'm going to pour the rest of the sauce on there. Throw it out in the toaster oven for like 40 minutes. Actually, maybe even only 30. And we should be ready to eat. So I'll, I'll check in before I uh, get it all together and you'll see. Alright, so here we go. We're ready to wrap it up. That's what it looks like. I always like to put a little bit of enchilada sauce in the bottom of the pan so that the tortillas don't stick and so that they soak up all that flavor too. So what you do is you just roll it up like this one, line them up, pour the rest of the sauce on top, throw it in the oven at 375 or 380. <laughs> Big difference there, right? For about 30 minutes and you're all ready to eat. Yeah, there's everything in there. Maddie just bellied up to the bistro table. We've got some delicious yellow rice and I added in some quinoa and brown rice, the Seeds of Change one, which is so convenient, so easy, and so good. Delicious. I love that when you just pop it in the microwave for 90 seconds and you're eating. You're eating good. Wow, that looks pretty amazing. I love the way that turned out. I forgot to mention, guys, if you have any leftover from when you're stuffing them, just mix it with the enchilada sauce and put it on top. It makes it look even more professional. Wow. You know, right? Are you a master chef or something? I wish. I wish I could totally be on that, that show. Really? I don't know. I don't know. It's supposed <laughs> to be, like... Amateurs? Real people. Yeah. <laughs> Not that real chefs aren't real people. Yeah, I, you know yeah, I, mean. I know. Regular people who aren't yeah. trained. They're not trained. I'm not. Neither is Tom Colicchio. Guys, did you know that the Tom Colicchio from, Tom that, from Top Chef was uh, not classically trained? He was self-taught. I wasn't exactly self-taught. I mean, my dad taught me, and he was a chef. So, I guess that counts. Mm, yeah, but you didn't like go to school. No, I didn't go to school for it, but. Um, I apprenticed with my chef daddy. Wow. That looks so good. I want to see you try it on camera though because I never made it like this before. I've never done this before. Are you <laughs> what? Are you yes. They're probably still hot too, just like in a restaurant where they pop it out of the dishwasher and serve ice cream in it and <laughs> It gets melted by the time it gets to your table. You should always chill your ice cream bowls. Especially if you work in a restaurant. Wow, it's probably really hot. Oh, good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm. Is it really good? Mm. All right. Well, I hope you enjoy. Mm -hmm. It was spicy. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed with that because it said it was mild. They definitely had a hot one. And I got the one that said mild. And when I was putting it on there, I licked my finger. And it was, sure enough, it was pretty spicy. So, ugh. Hello, chicken. Hi. I was lazy. I stuck the bananas in the freezer in their skins. <laughs> oh, the and skins are not coming off so good. Well... If you run it under some hot water, it'll like loosen up the skin, but the banana part will stay frozen. That's so weird. Yeah, you're right. Oh. It really is weird. It's odd. Eh? Ew. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of gross. Maybe you shouldn't look. <laughs> Ew. Weird. Oh. But we're having monkey's uncle smoothies. Yeah. <laughs> this is the price you have to pay. For being lazy. <laughs> Not so bad. I just, ugh. This looks gross. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll come back. Yeah. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> Monkey's uncle. Okay. Let's go. You're beautiful. Yay! It's true. Potassium. Monkey's uncle just 
for you. Yeah. Oh, baby. That looks great. Oh, baby. She likes it like that. <gasps> wow. wow. Elegance. Luxury. Oh, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, you need some more. <laughs> no! No, not yet. No, not not yet. I wasn't saying yeah, about the smoothie. I was just saying the line. Oh. This is too much goodness in one. I'm just I like have... scarred from that other day when we had that the giant the one? giant one and I thought I was gonna die. My stomach was distended for a few hours and I couldn't sleep. Yep. Mm. I really what could not fall asleep because of that. You what? What shoddy? What days in a week? What days of the week? I think it's for his DVD. <gasps> Rocky und Bullwinkel. <laughs> I didn't order it yet. I didn't order it We're yet. We're gonna get it, bud. I'll order it tomorrow. Okay? I didn't order it yet. Delivery mail next week? Yes. Okay. What delivery mail yet? Rocky and Bullwinkel and friends. Yes. Is that what you want? Yes. All right, high five me, baby. Yes. Do you love me? Yes. I love you. I love you. <laughs> you love me. To our next time. What's up? Mm. Uh, not yet. It's delicious. It's delicious? Oh. Are we a happy family? Yes. With a great big hug? And a and kiss from me to you? <laughs> Sean's like, get out! To our next time. What's up? Yes, everyone thinks you're adorable, but you don't have to do that every time I point the camera at you. You can just, like, bask in the glory for a minute. Just give me your forever, your eternity look. Your, what is it? Love is eternal face. Love is eternal face, Sean. Look. Yeah. We win. <laughs> <laughs> I give that about five years. Just kidding. Uh -huh. Just kidding. What numbers do we remove? Uh, next week. Let's say, what's next Friday? The 25th? Yes. July 25th? Yes. All right. Now you may do the sign off. <laughs> now that you're in, you're in, uh, he's all like, Yeah. Sean, come here. <laughs> Go for it. No, 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 no. Tell me what I want. No, <laughs> that's what you want. Till, Till next time. Thank you. Thank you.